Hello there, this is Isix to another episode of City Skylines. And we are once again in the city of Eklesen. Still with a K. And a lesson. It's, uh, it's almost like elk, but different, I guess. Anyway, so last time we had the early days of our city. Over the years, they did things like invent cars and electricity. And so they re replaced their old power, uh, you know, heating plant that uh, burned trees to fill up steam tunnels or something like that. With an electric power plant and uh, hooked up their city to have electric power. They also decided, you know, maybe going down the river to go to the bathroom is, is a terrible idea. So they replaced the magical tunnels that went into the city uh, with sewers instead. And people rejoiced. Yes. They rejoiced all the time. It's pretty sweet. Anyway, so, the years rolled by, and many, many things happened. So I mentioned sort of at the end of the last time. We built a few more roads. Sort of realized, oh, we kind of need more places to live. And screw Gary's house. He was terrible. And thus, and thus Gary did not have a place to live in anymore. Yes. <laughs> and thus, and thus Gary was like a hobo and he was kind of depressed. It was kind of a sad story, really. Poor Gary. Oops, oops. Wrong, wrong thing. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Wrong button. So they, they expanded the city a little bit over the over the decades. Not many really sensible or planned fashion. But the community here was nominally uh, taken care of via sort of a mayor type person who was uh, originally uh, appointed by the, by, let's say, the parliament back home. And the mayor hands-off sort of thing. Their main jo main main interest was actually just making money. So they're like, yeah, I guess I'm in charge of the town, so I guess I can make taxes low for my business, and thus it was. Do -do 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 -do. Don't mind me, just building some more things. Uh, but then, things back home took, took a unfortunate turn. There was... There was Civil strife, rebellion, chaos, fighting, battles. And so, from about, say, 1930 to about 1960, a massive migration began to, to work its way towards places other than home. Basically, people were like, you know, we don't really want to get caught up in all this fighting. Let's go somewhere that's peaceful. Like this ma magical island city. All the mountains and stuff around it. It's pretty sweet, I hear. And thus, people started going. And so they just uh, built some new roads, when suddenly a whole bunch of new people started showing up. And it became, became a major problem. You see, people started trying to move in faster than they, <clears throat> faster than they uh, could uh, erect houses and such. And so there had to be a lot of, like... Well, I guess we can sort of force a road through here. Sort of... Trying to make up for it. Uh, and people are like, well, that's a start, but we need, we need more. Uh, okay, well, we'll add even more. And the people rejoiced. For a time. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Better make sure I have water connecting through all this as well. <laughs> because people there seem to be having issues with it. Alright. So let's let's sort of uh, continue to simulate this this mass migration by uh, adding in more George roads. Because yeah, again, these roads are set up in a, a bit of a hurry. Like, you know, we got about like a hundred thousand people trying to move into this into this island here. Not, not all to this, this particular city, but, you know, various places all over the place. You know, the island's pretty big. It's, uh, 
it's not like Greenland size. No, it's nothing like that. More like, I don't know, maybe the uh, Northern Island of uh, New Zealand size. So there's there's a, there's a fair bit of terrain, but... Uh, yeah, excuse me. Uh, but uh, it's not unlimited space. And there was the whole mainland, of course, nearby. But uh, that wasn't nearly as uh, settled as the, you know, even this territory. It was a, effectively the Wild West sort of, sort of territory. <laughs> So, they did have to demolish the people's houses, but uh, people didn't mind. They couldn't make rent anyway. <laughs> it was really kind of sad. Now, if you're wondering why I'm sort of designing my city all derpy like this, well, I'm intentionally, through the story, sort of saying, hey, what if the city was completely unplanned to start with? Now you might be thinking, oh, well, that kind of makes sense. A lot of early development cities were sort of like that, you know? And then, and then redevelopment happened later. Exactly. <laughs> nice, just random curly road in here. Yeah. And, and maybe, yeah, definitely some over here as well. So, sorry, people. Um, don't mind us. Just building some roads through the area. We'll, 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 we'll be done soon. Yeah, I've got to put things over there. I didn't put things over there. Maple Square. Oh, we should probably give that a better name. Hmm. Maybe like Treehouse. I'm suddenly feeling that, you know, some of these roads should, like, have, like, cults or something like that at the end of them. But, uh, that's not where our store is going. There we go. We're gonna be all like, Wah! Live by the dump. See if I care. Of course, we're gonna need more water here. Alright. Oh, and power. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll deal with the water first. Then we'll worry about the, water, the power situation. I have the power! All right, so we have a massive brownout. It's not good. Well, the the new people moving in, they said, well, I guess we should probably uh, build another power plant. Oh, maybe that's what's up. <laughs> um, do we have a fire station nearby? Well, we will now. <laughs> they, they realized the, the fire hazard of uh, having all these new people moving in, so they built a new fire station, and the, and the peasants rejoiced. Hooray! I'm really liking how colorful my city is. Yeah, with all the trees sort of everywhere. and yeah, But the city of tomorrow didn't have much in the way of trees. It was very just high density everywhere, so... Yes. <laughs> and hopefully this means we'll get uh, fire trucks in. There we go. And now we're getting sewage back up, too. <laughs> help, help, the building's on fire! Now, I might still need to put in another power plant. Uh, what is our uh, stats in that regard? Yeah. <laughs> Making... Let's just put another power plant in. Um, that works. <laughs> oh, power to the people! Hooray! Well, that's while we're, we're, we're waiting for things to build. Yeah, we do definitely need to... Uh, a uh, second. Well, when they replaced the, uh, you know, replaced the uh, uh, underground tunnels with uh, sewage or sewer lines, they decided, you know, maybe we should have like actual sewage output pipe. And wait, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. Yeah, is it connected? I think it is. We'll find out in a moment. There we go. Hello, boats that phase through the world. Wee <laughs> Boats are magical like that. Yeah, what else? What else? And so for for a little bit, the city started taking in a lot more refugees. Slowly at first, but uh for time. They had to start making a lot more, a lot more places for them to sort of uh, move in. So 
So I'm going to take a few minutes and just sort of uh, simulate that. So I'll see you on the far side, all right? And we're hopefully back. Oh, God. Here we go. Screwed up my controls while I was <laughs> resuming the recording there. Um, so anyway, uh, the the city expanded. Many, many poorly made roads out into the stretches in the near, nearby area. No, not over there. People didn't want to build near the garbage dump. Speaking of, right at this point, they started having a bit of an issue with trash. So they're like, well, we should, like, burn some of it. We can make power out of it. And they're like, brilliant! So this guy got a incinerator by his house. And then they're like, you know, we could do the same for dead people. And so they did. Sometimes the vehicles got themselves confused which one was going where. But for the for the moment, people were, were happy. Sort of. Kind of. Anyway, so as the uh, settlement started to grow up, people, people, turns out, were, were quite unhappy. Some of them were quite sick. Some of them were covered in garbage. Some of them were horrible criminals. And some of them were on fire. For a few moments. <laughs> but then they're like, you know, we could fix some of these problems. We already have a fire station. In fact, we have a couple. We already have a police station, and well, they're, they're very good at giving us beatings, but uh, they're not very good at fixing the crime rate, so, so maybe we can fix one of the other problems. I know. Let's get a hospital of some sort. Well, the, the people here were pretty poor, and well, given with all the uh, chaos back home, they didn't really have a whole lot of funds in order to do that. So they had to go with a, uh, a small clinic. Tore down Sylvia's house in the process. She was very upset. Then she got sick and then was less upset because now she could uh, just hang out in the hospital instead. It all worked out for her. Uh, t -t -t -t. Got water issues over here. Alas! Yes. <laughs> uh, then... There was also expansion over in the uh, the, the farm area. Well, our farms were, go were growing up because they're like, well, we're not getting a whole lot of, um, well, food from back home. So we need a little bit more. And so they started expanding the farm operations there. High-density farms for high-density needs. Lots of cows, apparently. No. <laughs> Those are like sort of tractor-ish type vehicles. It's it's very apt. You have like space farms. <laughs> Amy's banking company or baking company. <laughs> I can read. Ah, so basically, it's like a, a bakery. What? I don't know. Baconary. Hmm. So pigs. Anyway, uh, still pretend that these uh, the highways don't exist yet. <laughs> we'll worry about them later. They'll be coming. They'll be coming for too long. Don't worry about it. Anyway, so, 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 uh, as the uh, conflict started to ramp up, refugees started coming to the city, and the population began to expand. In fact, we're making money now. It's kind of weird. So this uh, small port town that was basically mainly most a stopover uh, for people that were going further south, you know, because this is the northern tip of the island. You know, there's much more interesting places elsewhere on the island, for instance, and on the mainland, and places that are a little safer too. So, so the the, the whole mega crime issue is kind of a kind of causing a people not really want to hang out very for very long, unless you just kind of couldn't move on, which a lot of people coming from the law uh, term, uh, you know, uh, problems back home, well, they kind of couldn't get afford to move on, so they kind of got stuck here. It's like, well, we can get enough money to move to this place. We've never been there. We've, we don't know what it looks like. We don't know what it's like there. We just know it's not here. And, well, here kind of sucks. And so the, the people came to this place, and they're like, oh, this is only slightly better. Um, can we get a refund on that trip? No? Never mind. Anyway, the, 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 the conflicts began to ravage, and things progressed. And people in the industry area finally had enough workers for their industries. Now, 
This did encourage a, a bit of entrepreneurship, especially especially on this long road here. And so, at one point, some people were like, you know, wouldn't it be crazy to like set up a little uh, little 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 store? Because we we could have you know all our food here, but we need a place to sell it, right? And so some of the more uh, well-off people in town were like, you know, we're going to make a market. We're going to make a market square. Or a rectangle. Yeah. <laughs> and, and thus they did. And it came to pass. And of course it was, you know, not totally uniform how they came about. Yeah. And so there was, there was a little, little bleed, bleed over. Probably need power. <laughs> Probably need water as well. This is all kind of character talking about the water. <laughs> Smoke on the water. Fire in the sky. <clears throat> now these people just need power. There they go. Hopefully that's enough. And so they started building little shops and uh, setting up places to sell their goods. And. Apparently we're still having power problems. In fact, the the windmill power, the the the, uh, uh, the old mill power was not sufficient. So they're like, you know, what if we got like a better power source? Well, we don't know anything about solar power, and we're still a few decades before uh, viable nuclear plants here. Well, it would be useful just to have another their uh, place to. Uh, Hook up to the uh, grid here. So let's build another uh, coal plant here. Yeah. You might notice that uh, despite my infinite money, I am not doing that thing where I just like build power plants of the maximum size or type. That makes all the people happy. Because this is this is what happened in the story, people. My god. I had pop soda and it was weird. Yes. And so, things began to thrive. At least in some areas. Now, there did reach a point where there was a sort of a lull in the con uh, conflict, and uh, the, the the influx of people was was slowed slightly. That gave them a little bit of time to sort of catch up and realize, you know, our city kind of sucks. We need like some way to, uh, to educate them once they get out of, you know basic school and so they're like well, we, well maybe we should build a big a big old uh, high school and they're like we don't know what that is we're we're like it's like a university oh one of those places all right and so we had the incinerator and uh, well the other incinerator they're like well let's put it there it's sort of a place everybody knows everyone likes to hang out at so uh, might as well right how big's their university <laughs> the European style university and uh, the European style high school are about the same size. It's kind of massive. Not sure how I feel about that. Anyway, what are our students? And so, and people were, and, and some more people got a little more intelligent. Citizens are sick. No, go to the hospital. Wait, there is no hospital. There's only Zool. Well, I mean, the clinic. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Don't think I've ever seen a two lane this busy in city skylines. As long as the traffic's flowing, though, it's uh, it's all good. It's intersections are always the sort of problem this uh, in this game. <laughs> and I don't have many yet. <laughs> all right. Hmm. Let me think my next move. Oh yeah, they should probably have uh, fire protection over here. They seem to be having a lot of um, fires. I wonder why... If you wonder why we keep starting fires. It's my desire. It's my desire. It's my desire. Danger. Danger. High voltage. When we touch. When we kiss. Uh, I think we can get these power lines. They're electricity anyway. Huzzah! So the conflict raged on. Well, sort of, but there's that bit brief lull that sort of like, you know, we can, we can, 
maybe start planning our little things. And so they're like, we need like better, better, better ways to get to the other cities than the than our tiny little terminal on the on the on the ocean there. So we started construction of the roads, the big roads for driving places, but those won't be finished yet. And some of them are kind of derptastic. Because uh, in the map editor, uh, a lot of the uh, sort of fine detail like this isn't actually included. So I was like, this is, looks this looks awful. And it might have looked okay actually in the game, but because uh, <laughs> like you might look at this and it might actually have a big gap there, because I didn't think to fill it in, because you're in a sort of different render environment. But you know, ah, anyway, trains. But yes, and so. They had water issues. Yep, time for more more water. <laughs> Let's put it downstream from the sewage. Huh? <laughs> uh -huh. Let's just put another one in good, for good measure. Connect all the things. <laughs> of course, some areas were very, very high traffic still. So this is kind of the way that everybody gets in and a lot of the uh, freight gets in and out. So, it kind of drives everybody crazy. Yes. Now, after that lull of the fighting, sort of, several factions sort of arose. Uh, it's kind of funny, all the dead trees here. That's just a cemetery. What, what gives? <laughs> uh, after the lull in the fighting, uh, the, the, there were sort of, several factions arose back home. And they sort of all coalesced into sort of power blocks and then they're like oh we're gonna be sort of at a truce for a little bit but eventually that started breaking down and so the the various factions at least the, the important ones so they started sort of uh, you know we're kind of uh, maybe being beat here so let's uh, ship our people off to uh, the the new colonies and such and the people were like okay we don't want to be fighting anyway and so when they got to, to Eccles in here, they started uh, started uh, setting up their own uh, sort of little uh, little communities. Yes. So if you don't mind me taking another uh, quick quick splice here, we'll uh, go ahead and uh, get those planned out for you. And hopefully we're back. And and thus the uh, the factions began to build their city, or their own. Little settlements inside the city, such as Quick Town, the people that had a philosophy about being quick to get things done. And not leaving the pause button on. They were they their design for their area emphasized long roads so they could quickly get to the main road as fast as possible. So you can get to work. Yes. Then nearby, up a road that treacherously swings around and is easily defendable is Protection Town. Who have not built anything yet. They they should be powered up. Yes. Uh, they designed their their area to be easily defendable. Sure people could sneak around along here, but being so effectively uh, surrounded on uh, almost all four sides by uh, steep cliffs meant that these uh, paranoid folks they're uh, quite able to stave off any sort of invaders that might appear. Then, over the crime-riddled city, uh, <laughs> I, I added another uh, uh, Bernie place, because the other one was all full up. Uh, let's actually plop in another uh, one of these if we can. Slope too steep. Oh no. Uh, we'll... Uh, over here, I think. Right across the street from the high school. <laughs> Speaking of the high school, there's Learning Town, the people that value education. They also value a uh, sort of a very, I guess, organized sort of thing with their lives, so they uh, had nice lots of uh, straight lines in their roads and planning. And they kept themselves near the school. Because reasons. Then, there was these guys, who I forgot to make a district for. Whoops.
They were community town. They emphasized togetherness. So, high density zones. And not a lot of, not a lot of roads compared to everything else. <laughs> and they're already having abandonment issues. Mainly because of the whole power situation. Let's just go fix that real quick. We aren't supposed to build over here yet, guys. Stop it. <laughs> it's a low quality uh, European buildings there. Kind of interesting. Haven't actually seen these yet. Hmm. And uh, finally, way up in the mountain, this perspective town, because I could I'll look over most of the city. Protection town was almost as high, but uh, they figured, you know, we can do one better. But of course, to get to perspective, it's a long, arduous trek up along a, a zigzaggy path. And so it, it's not necessarily a place for everyone, just those who like to have a good look at things and go, hmm, what does this mean? Why is there a fire hydrant here? Hmm. And if you might recall, I think this might have been one of the hills I was thinking about starting my previous, well, the first episode on of the season. Yes. And so these guys will all start growing up as need be. But with people came business. God, and, and lag. And so, uh, yeah, the commercial uh, zone over here starting to expand. And like, well, there's a lot of people along this road. So might as well go all out and just find the entire thing with shops. And hopefully hook up the water properly. Ta da! And if we're going to be doing some over here as well, might as well finish the Z job. Do -do 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 -do. You always put the business where the people are. Or you fail horribly at being a business person. Yeah. <laughs> but with business, with people, came the need for pro products. And more police. Well, the police situation was getting a little out of hand. The police were ineffective and kind of terrible. So they're like, well, maybe we should have a, a second better police station. And so they're like, okay, that's, that's makes sense. So they built one. And things hopefully calmed down slightly. <laughs> so many sick people. <laughs> yes. This is what happens when you put the industrial zones and the residential zones kind of together. Anywho. So. Due to the whole uh, mining situation over here, uh, the uh, road up to community town was still quite a glorious time for uh, to do mining in. So the community town uh, people didn't much like this. But, you know, remember the whole thing with the mayor being sort of super ineffective and sort of in it for themselves? Hell yeah. <laughs> and, and really, given the whole collapse of the government back home, there's no one that's going to be really appointing the next mayor. In fact, the city didn't ha have elections. They just sort of had the guy appointed by the government back home, and, uh... They hoped for the best. Didn't work out so well, though. Because their city sucked. Eccleson... Eccleson was terrible. Not Christopher's Eccleson, but th this this one th the K, remember? It's different. <laughs> and... yeah, let me show you. That should be fine. And so the city began its awkward growth spurts. Building, expanding, being. Now, each each sort of these uh, subtowns sort of had its own, I guess, monument they wanted to build. Let's see what we can give these guys. Promise Park. Promise of the middle class. Oh, yeah, this is one of the uh, ones we uh, downloaded. I think. So, uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay, we can give them a carousel. <laughs> yeah, uh, give them one of these, perhaps. What's this? Cathedral? Hmm. Oh, this is our uh, new unlocks for, uh, I guess, the European set. Hmm. Cool. Didn't actually realize that. Uh, t -t 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 -t. statue of shopping. 
Lazarus Plaza. And also, these are some of the assets I've uh, downloaded, so I can plop these buildings when I feel like it. As well as all these. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm trying to think what would be a good uh, sort of center. It's kind of crazy building. For the, what you call it, quick people. Hmm. Probably not a skyscraper. That wouldn't make any sense. And we don't have them there. Remember, I made a crazy looking park, but yeah, apparently it's not there. Well, these people, they're all about, about speed and things like that. So let's give them a bus terminal. <laughs> and thus they built a bus terminal. And they, they started running bus lines throughout the city. And the people like this. So it meant they could uh, go to places they couldn't get to before. Uh, let's go build a bus route. Yeah. Sort of along here, sort of. Yeah. Step over in the commercial zones. Get into the zone. The commercial zone. And because it's their bus terminal, they're going to have it stop in their place for a little bit. Boink. 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 <laughs> and suffer through their crime issues. It's terrible. Ah. And yeah, one right there. And final one right there. So let's ease the suffering of some of the people. Now, the uh, protection town, well, they're their item of interest is quite obvious. A giant police station. Uh, where am I going to put it? It's a giant police station that uh, guards their, their entrance. There we go. Of course, knocked out power there for the time being. Let's go hook it up to the, the bus depot. For our convenience sake. Community town? Well... What's better for communities than, say, a park? Well, let's go for a Promise Plaza. Ta-da! Uh, learning Town? Well, <laughs> should also be pretty obvious. Give them a university! Just smack it on the, the end of it somewhere. There we go. And finally, Perspective Town. Well, they like being high, so we're gonna actually give them a tower of some sort. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Never unlocked some of these. <laughs> what should I give them? Well, not quite the transport type, so that doesn't quite make sense. One of these, perhaps? Oh, this looks nice. We'll, uh, we'll give them a random tower on top. Give that our castle, but I don't have any castles unlocked. <laughs> uh, let me put it on the edge. Yeah. Give it a little, give it a little tower as well. Yeah, and uh, this is you know something I downloaded, installed. So uh, I haven't actually used any tool tips here. Uh, center. Oh, sort of the scale as well. All right, so it's a little smaller than one to one, but. Uh, We'll pretend that doesn't matter. And so each each of the uh, new communities, based on the factions that have been pushed out of the their homeland, started building their town. Eventually, <laughs> uh, so I think I might uh, off-screen build a bunch more industrial areas. But uh, I think we have enough. Uh, that's about it for this uh, this episode. Hope you enjoyed as we continued our adventures and the evolution of the t of the of our new city here. It has grown a whole lot. Um only oh, like five thousand or more. Probably like six thousand, perhaps. Maybe even more than that. But there are many, many, many problems. Many, many problems. But some of these won't get solved for a little bit yet. Like all the all the animal noise. It's such a problem for be covered in garbage soon. It's gonna be funny. Anyway, uh, it's about the end. Before we end, just sort of point out that it's about the end of these uh, communities starting to develop and uh, 
get set up in the area that they, uh, they finally finished the, uh, the big roads coming through. And, uh, well, the people who paid for them were kind of people in the city, and they're like, well, this will solve our, our trash problems, or economic problems, right? Right? Maybe. Tune in next time for more City Skylines with me, Essex. <laughs> Toodles.